I'm like this deep in all things, you know, border and Texas politics and national politics. And I'm just tired of the smoke and mirrors. But from what I have seen, not coming out from Greg Abbott's office, what I have seen is that Operation Lone Star hasn't really been working. And it kind of seems like we're being sold this grand idea that Texas is, you know, Texas is defending the entire border and really it's just this minuscule part that's just for optics. And I, this just feels gross to me. Am I, am I being too cynical in that? No, not at all. You're tapping into what's called women's intuition and just common sense and your eyes don't deceive you. And, and so I'll say this, the, the notion that building, look, I should preface it with this. I'm always for taking care of our servicemen and servicewomen. Okay? But Greg Abbott, if you want to take care of him, how about you stop the suicide rate? How about you give him some mental health support? How about you give him a chaplain, which they don't have? How about you give their family support for the family so that the husband goes to the work in the morning? And, and two weeks ago, another officer took his own life. That's not because he didn't have a bed or a mess hall or a movie theater, he stays there, he lives there, his family lives there. It's because you've abandoned him on the border, you make him do things he didn't sign up for, he wants to defend this country, and now you buy optics, pure optics, 100% optics. Somebody should tell Greg Abbott, there are other points of the border, you don't just have to go to Eagle Pass. Mm. That's his right. spot. That's right. where he put his shipping containers down, that's where he put the Humvees with no engines in them. Mm. Then they put engines in them because we lifted the hoods, and now he's building a You're facility. Kidding. 100%. I'll show you the video footage. The Humvees did not have engines in them. That's what I'm talking about with the optics. It's like a $10 got billion video dollar footage. $10 billion dollar effort. He's looking at Piedras Negras across the border with no engines in them, with a cat living in the hood of the Humvee. Wow. Okay, now at least they have motors in them. It's optics. Abbott is optics. This is his thing. Cameras, microphones, look at what I'm building. Lone Star has been a disaster mm -hmm. from day one. It's a waste of money. Yes, take care of the service, servicemen and women. Get them some emotional help because you've pushed them over the edge by making them abandon their country, which they signed up to defend. Yeah, I mean, Eric, it's just like more taxpayer money siphoned into something that seems to just be for optics. And then on top of that, I, I do agree. I, I respect men and women who serve, but on-site movie theaters seems a little much for taxpayers to pay for, especially when you consider the $10 billion we're already paying for, for what seems to just be smoke and mirrors. Brother, sorry. Take some of the money and turn the cameras in Hudspeth County that's on the border on because they've been off for two and a half years. The cameras aren't even wow. turned on. Wow. So these are the things, right? That's still Texas border, 1,254 miles of Texas border. Let's build a gym. No, let's not build a gym. Yeah, the cameras on. Well, and and by and by the way, um, I also do want to say I appreciate the argument. Um, I appreciate the fact that this has pushed the Biden administration into a corner. Like I, I appreciate the small stance. I, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, the fact that we are now going to get to argue in at the Supreme Court whether or not Texas has the ability to enforce their own border and does Texas have you know sovereign borders is. Obviously, something that needs to be discussed at the highest level of the courts. But I just don't I don't feel comfortable giving Abbott all of the credit to say like, oh, look, he's doing this great program and he's Operation Lone Star has been a complete success. And on top of that, we're going to spend money on this giant facility for these people when in actuality, I just don't I think we're being sold a lie. And I just want to make sure the American people understand that. Look, I think I, I totally empathize with people that want to see this come to some sort of resolution, right? With that being said, particularly with Texas, I think what's happening here, and this is just, we will talk about intuition, just me kind of calling it for what it is and the way that I see it, is this, is this is the inevitable. And that is that actually going to solve the problem means that there is going to have to be a conflict with the federal government. I don't personally think Abbott, I don't personally think the National Guard, not to say that they aren't prepared to deal with it. I just think they don't want to have to come to terms with that reality, because then we have to have, especially publicly, another conversation. And that's a conversation that I've been wanting to have for a very, 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 very long time. It's like, OK, who is best suited? I say it on the show all the time. 
Who's best suited to deal with Texas's problems? Texas is best suited to deal with Texas's problems. However, there are rules, laws even, in play that do not allow them to effectively do what needs to be done. More importantly, there's a lot of wasted resources that are being uh, directed, let's say, to the federal government to deal with the issue, which then puts it out of your hands or rather you're not equipped to have to actually deal with the problem. Right. And then everybody's looking to the federal government to resolve it. But what happens when they don't? You're left unprepared and the issue is still the issue. Mm. So this is what the American people, I think, need to have to uh, they have to understand. I think Abbott, he knows it. Right. And uh, people around them know it. They just don't want to have to deal with it. If you want to truly deal with this problem, you're going to have to be into be in a conflict with the with the uh, federal government. Bottom line, it sounds like it's probably watching the show. Oh, my God, we can't. That's the reality. The federal government ain't dealing with it. So you got to deal with it. They don't want you to deal with it, though. It makes them look bad. It, it uh, more so uh, uh, lends credence to independence. That's not what it is that they want. But that is the inevitable. Do you want the problem to be resolved or do we just want to sit here and talk about it all day long? Yeah. In order for it to get resolved, you're going to have to go to conflict with that absolute mammoth. And I think it's more of, less of a mammoth and more of a paper tiger because I think they're full of crap. Because at the end of the day, if you did want to start prioritizing Texans and their problems over the United States government and how they want to deal with it, I don't think there's not much they can do or much they will do mm -hmm. for that matter. Yeah. Um, just another quick note on that before we have to go to break. Uh, apparently, the number of Chinese illegal immigrants crossing the southern border uh, has skyrocketed by 4,000 percent just since 2021. And you have to ask yourself why. Correct. Exactly. Got to ask why. Right. Because. Why are they all single males? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Military age. Mm -hmm. Not just from China, but and, from. And then you look into Africa a little bit and you go, oh, wait a minute, they've done this before. Mm -hmm. They built literally what they called man camps. So many went in. Lagos, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Namibia, South Africa, that they had to build camps for these guys, and it was takeover time. So just wake up. And wake up. by the way, just as a reminder, uh, maybe this is just a top of mind because we have early voting that started here in Texas, but uh, here in the Texas House, here in Texas... Uh, where we have all of these 4,000 percent increase in Chinese uh, immigrants, illegal immigrants crossing the border. Remember, if they could, if they could get here legally, they probably just would. I don't know. They probably just fly in here. So it's weird that they're doing it the harder way. Um, and we still have a Texas legislature who has not banned uh, the CCP from owning Texas land. Just. Mm -hmm. Just as if you needed a reminder to go out and make sure that you vote um, here in the primary season, that might be one. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here.